is the jungle, the vast wilderness of giant lush foliage, of tropical birds and fierce animal life, the killer tiger, the cunning hyena, the deadly python that can crush a giant elk, the proud lion, a fierce lioness stalking a prey to feed her young, and the buzzards, the scavengers of the jungle, soaring lower, ever lower, eager to devour the dead or the dying. Kill or be killed, this is the law of the jungle. And here? What have we here? Who are these men? What can they possibly be doing in this cruel tropical wilderness? <laughs> Hey, I give one Hey, 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 Father, don't let him kill them. No, no, hold on, Banze. Hold on, 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 Hold on the bonsai! No! Ava, Ava, Uncle Son! Uncle Son, 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 have yet discovered who is these men? Well, not yet, Father. Look, Father. I think one of them is named Mervyn. Mervyn? Mervyn? Who said that? Which one of you is Mervyn? Oh, lady, you got us mixed up with two other guys. <laughs> My name is Nona. Hiya, Nona. I'm Duke Mitchell. How do you do? Where are we? What place is this? This is the most southern fringe of the Zamboanga group. The island of Cola Cola. Cola Cola? Sounds like a commercial for some bubble water. <laughs> How did we get here? Some of our men found you lying in the jungle and carried you here. Yeah, what are we on for carrying charges? <laughs> get it, carrying charges, funny wine. Let's wrap it up here, lady. <laughs> oh, come here. How did you get lost in the jungle? Well, we were on our way to do a show for the boys in Guam. We we're in a plane high over the Pacific. Sammy goes to look for the powder room, and he couldn't find it. I went there to show him. I walked through the wrong door. Like a dope, he follows me. Yeah, lucky thing we had on parachutes. Well, there we were, lost in a vast wilderness. We lived on wild berries and raw fish. Which is much better than the raw fish living on us. You have nothing to worry about. My father, the chief, will see that you're well cared for. Me? Chief Rockers, king of this island. Well, gee, you sure look super, chief. Super, chief, get <laughs> Hiya, Chief. I'm Duke Mitchell. This is my partner, Sammy Petrillo. You know, Mitchell and Petrillo, songs, dances, and snappy patter, have tuxedo, will travel. And not this far. Welcome to our island. We are honored. Our house is yours. Yeah, well, remind me to get some of the wallpaper in here, will you? Shh. Bongo, bongo. 
Papeo Colihau and Poi Poi. Ah, Clambay, Clambay. Tonight, we have great luau. To celebrate you, my people will sing and dance for you. See, that sounds great. We'll do likewise, I'm sure. Ah, this one, we'll... Do, do, shake it, shake it, shake it. Go, 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 Dad, go. Hey, cut it out. Don't mind my friend, he's young, he's foolish. No doubt. Come. See that? You made the chief mad. That's okay, he wasn't a good dancer anyway. You know, someday I'm gonna let you fry in your own grease. Can you make it chicken fat? Maybe. Okay, banga banga. Since when are you talking native language? I just started today. But what did he say? What did he say? I don't even know what I said. Now don't hit me, Dookie. He hits me in the head. Wonderful dance they're doing. My people are happy to entertain you. Well, Sammy and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I'd be more entertained if I had a pretty girl to talk to. Hey, girl, why you do have all the meat and potatoes? Meat and potatoes? Don't mind, my friend. He speaks in a vernacular. I do? Gee. Gee, I want a girl just like the girl the other. Easy. I'll call my sister. You have a sister? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, we... She's got a sister, and she's all for me, Doogie. <laughs> uh, lots of luck. Yes? I have very nice friend for you. Oh, see? The little one. <laughs> Doogie, and it's all for me. Ah! Doogie, no, no, no! Oh, I like. Come. This is Saloma. This is your sister? My baby sister, Saloma. This is Sam. Well, it's been nice knowing you. So long, Salami. Saloma like you. Saloma think you beautiful. Saloma needs glasses. You eat. I said, I don't want to eat. Thank you. You eat. No, I told you I don't want to eat. Hey, Dookie, I got to get away from this blimp or she'll kill me. Well, you ask for it. I got it. When locked in the corner, do a routine. Go. Great. You eat. Oh, I don't get it. Will you let go of the shirt? What are you trying to feed me for? You're not my mother. You can't feed me. Saloma, no falafa. Oh, no falafa. After all, I've been eating for a long time. I know how to feed myself. I've been feeding myself ever since I was a little boy. Do you understand? No falafa. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Showtime at the Royal Taijin. And what a wonderful show we have lined up for you tonight. You know, as you know, this is my first visit to your beautiful island of Cola Cola, and I want to tell you that the climate is wonderful. It really makes a guy feel full of Pepsi. Get it? Cola, Pepsi? Pepsi, Cola? <laughs> gentlemen of the jury, I'd like to ask the prisoner one question. Have you ever been up before Judge Smith? 
I don't know what time does Judge Smith get up. <laughs> you want to hear a funny one? On the way over to the island, the fellow stopped me at a coconut tree and he said I hadn't had a bite for three days. You know what I did? I bit him. <laughs> what did he say? I was cansado com lado do Liceu. I was cansado com os sapos. Hi. Well, I knew you'd get one of them eventually. Oh, I have a million of them. Well, you listen to this one. Listen to this one. Did you take a bath this morning? Why? Is there one missing? <laughs> 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 I thought I told you to wait in the truck. You dance with Saloma? Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, Enough. come dance. Left your motor running, kid. Well, I don't want to dance with you. Leave going the arm, will you? You're, you're breaking the whole arm with you. Let go of the arm already. Saloma. Wait, leave, leave go of me. Don't get physical. I can't leave go of me. Saloma. I'll go go so sila. Don't hate me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think perhaps she is too rough? Probably doesn't know her own strength. <laughs> Homa, Homa Dunbar Homa, Walla Tundra. My father says, do you wish to dance for us? Well, I don't dance, but I'll I'll do eight or ten tunes for you. Well, that's fine. All right. Okay, fellas, let's wrap it up. You. Now you. Do I, baby? Indeed I do. Do I need you? Oh, I do I, baby? Of course I do. You know that I'm the one who found you. That's why I'm always hanging around. Do. You know that I'm the one who found you. That's why I'm always hanging around you. Do I love you? Oh, I do, I, baby. Indeed, I do. Baby, indeed, I do. I do. Cause baby, yes sir, baby. Cause baby, indeed I do. Boy, look at that moon. You wouldn't think it was the same one that was shining over the Bronx, Brooklyn, Coney Island. But it is. Yeah, but it's so much bigger and brighter out here. You sure have a beautiful place to live in. I've heard about places like this, read about it. In fact, I've even seen them in movies. Never really expected to be here, though. Yes, we have everything here to make us happy. A calm, peaceful atmosphere. No noisy streetcars or automobiles. No rushing around in and out of subways. No smoky factories smudging up the air we breathe. Say, how come you know about these things? And how come you talk like a college girl? Perhaps it's because I went to college. Come again? I was sent to your country to be educated. Someday I will be queen of this island. My people would like their queen to be smart. Well, what do you know? Sammy! You know, I kind of hate to leave this place. Then why go? Huh? Do you have to go? Well, we're part of an entertainment group. We do to entertain the boys on Guam. In fact, we're overdue. 
How do we get off this island? Do any ships stop here? Oh, yes. A ship stops once every two months. Oh, we'll have to do better than that. Perhaps Dr. Zabel can help you. Dr. Zabel? Yes, he's the only white man on the island. Well, how come we haven't seen him? Where is he? He lives on the other side of the island. He's a scientist working on an experiment in evolution. He's very clever, and we are in the midst of a series of... Did you of... say we? Yes. You see, he hired me as his assistant. Oh. Tomorrow I shall take you to him. He'll be very glad to see you both, I'm sure. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, no. No gay. What? Oh, never mind. He went that away. Run me alive! Run me alive! Go on, get out of here, run me alive! Daddy! Maybe I should run for mine too, no? see me home. That's the custom of the island. No kidding. Yes, that's right. Well, there's a switch. What other customs do you have? Oh, many quaint ones. I shall tell them to you sometime. Well, it'll be peachy. I must go. It's getting late. Good night. Wait a minute. You can't take a guy home and then leave him with just a good night? No. No. Oh. Yeah, thanks loads, but you didn't have to go out of your way. Shut up, Cuckoo. It's a custom of the islands, right? Right. Well, we better go. Until tomorrow. Come, Saloma. Good night, my little one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get away. Ah, get out of here. Bye. Yeah, wait for me in the glove compartment, will you? Well, well, what? Uh... Well, aren't you going to carry me across the threshold? Get out of here. How much fighter do we have to go? Oh, not very much. Boy, now I know how Livingston felt when he couldn't find Stanley. You have that wrong. It's just vice versa. It's vice what? Vice versa. Livingston didn't find Stanley. Stanley found Livingston. This is a vice vice. That's right. What are you looking for? I expect two tons of lime to come out here charging after me at any minute. Oh, don't worry about that. She won't. None of my people venture very close to the castle. It is forbidden. Castle? What castle? The castle where Dr. Zabel lives and works. Well, how come you go there and work? I don't share all the beliefs of my ancestors. Where is this castle? There it is. Cozy little shack. I wish it was on 42nd Street and Broadway. 42nd and Broadway? What kind of a crack is that? Well, if it was on 42nd and Broadway, we'd be standing in front of the automat. And boy, could I use a good cup of coffee right now. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Duke. Hey, 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 wait for me! This looks like Death not only took a holiday, but he got a hangover from taking it. Oh, this looks like Sing Sing. I gotta get out of here. What are you worrying about? Well, I ain't worried. 
Just wish I was back in Brooklyn playing the Lois Pitkin, that's all. Good morning, Chula. Morning. Tell Dr. Zabo I am here, and I bring two white visitors. I tell Master. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, it's me. Master. Now, what is it, Chula? Why do you disturb me? The girl, she is here. Since when does she have to be announced? She has two men with her. White men. White men? Who are they? I not know, Master. Come on, Doogie, let's go. The doctor's probably busy, and besides, I forgot something at the hut. What? I forgot to stay here. I'm getting out of here. Relax, Cuckoo. You want to get off this island, don't you? Sure, I want to get off the island. Well, the doctor's going to help us get off, isn't he? Yes. Dr. Zabo's a very brilliant man. Brilliant man, huh? Anybody who lives in a creep joint like this must be a moronic idiot. Good morning. I'm Dr. Zabor. Welcome to my creep joint. Oh, gosh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Idiot. I didn't mean to call you creep joint a creep joint. Oh, I think nothing of it. Doctor, I would like you to meet my friends. Yes? Hi, Doc. I'm Duke Mitchell. It's my partner, Sammy Petrillo. We were on our way to do a thing. Don't I know you from someplace? I don't think so. Psst. Hey, Dookie, come here. I think I know where you know this guy from. Where? Ain't this the fellow that goes around with the hands and the faces, biting people on the neck and wearing capes? You're crazy. Watch out for bats! Wait a minute, I'll prove it to you, watch. Dr. Zaber? Yes? Would you do me a favor? What is it? Make a face. What? Thanks. See? What did I tell you? Now go over and apologize. I ain't gonna do it. Come on, you embarrassed me. Go over and apologize. Come on. Dr. Zaber? Yes? What do you go around scaring little children for? What are you doing? What's the matter with you? Don't mind him, Doc. He thinks you're the guy that goes around biting little kids out of the neck, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's him. <laughs> Doctor, my friends fell out of a plane and landed on the island. They would like to get back to civilization. I told them you could help them. That's possible. Thank you, Doctor. It may take several days to make arrangements. In the meantime, please, accept my hospitality. Allow me to furnish you with suitable clothes. Gee, thanks, Doc. But no capes, huh? Oh, <laughs> Chula! Yes, Master. Take this man to my room. Yes, Master. Pick out anything you want from my wardrobe. When you have changed, Chula will bring you to the study. Follow Chula. Come. A most interesting cranium. Strange. But interesting. Really think so? Oh, what a charming compliment. It was very thoughtful for you to bring this man here. I'm sure I can help them. I was hoping you would. I would do anything for you in my power. Please, Dr. Zabor. I'll be in the laboratory, doctor. Why do you treat me so coldly, my dear? You know I love you. I want you. Now, what is wrong? Why do you not accept my love? Please, doctor, must we go over that again? Yes, we must. You shall love me. Certainly nice of you to fix us up like this, Doc. Yeah, I always wanted a Palm Beach suit, thanks. Very happy to do it. It's quite a drugstore you got here, Doc. This is my laboratory. Laboratory? No kidding. Hey, Duke, look. Looks like the monkey house in the Bronx Zoo, doesn't it? <laughs> Only smaller, of course. They're my guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? They look like monkeys to me. They 
are, monkey. Silly boy. They are so monkeys. Certainly they are monkeys. But they are also guinea pigs, for the reason that I use them in my experiments. Do you understand? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, Doc, what's this? Streptococci. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Hello, Strepta. Hiya, Cockeye. <laughs> Don't mind my friend. He has a one-syllable brain. I can see that. What kind of experiments are you making, Doctor? Oh, I'm performing a series of experiments in evolution. Evolution? What's evolution? Scientists have proven that all living things originated in a process of evolution. They also know that there is a growth force that tends to make genetic changes physiologically and morphologically. Chimpanzees and gorillas are the highest members of the ape family and are the ancestors of man. Darwin, in his provisional hypothesis of pangenesis, assumes that every living cell contains a gemule, which is a hypothetical granular. I have found the chemical formula that simulates the growth force. And when nature takes years, I can, in a matter of hours, make a complete embryonic metamorphosis, both physiological and morphological. Do you understand? Well, uh... Sure. What? Yeah. You mean you understood him? Uh-huh. What'd he say? What'd he say? Well, he was just trying to tell you that due to the great lines of the cerebrum, which have been perplexed by the fact of where the last type of dog had its first origin, you cannot confuse tyrannical and spasmodic conditions when it is never that he is a satellite of inconvenience. Shut but up! There are no embryonic physical morphosis. Understand this? Memphis, period. Master, Pepe Bordeaux here to see you. And in conclusion, I'd like to add that if you took the embryonic metamorphosis, the only thing... Shut that... up! What's he so mad about? Oh, Ramona isn't mad. She just wants to play. Come, I'll show you. Well, Ramona, do you like our friends? Do you want to come out? No, don't let her out. Don't let her out. Oh, Ramona's a pet. She's very tame. Watch. All right, Ramona. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, Ramona. That's a good girl. Come on out now. Come on. That's a good girl. I want you to meet my friends. Shake hands with Dookie. Shake hands. Hi, Ramona. Good girl. And now I think I want you to kiss Sammy. No, no, no. Get her out of here. Get her. I don't want to. No. I don't, I don't want to. No, no. Get her out of here. Oh, she won't hurt you, Sammy. <laughs> you know something, Dookie? What? This looks a little like a raging, huh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Pepe has come for some acid for his batteries, Nona. Very well, Doctor. Come on, Ramona. That's a good girl into your cage. That's a good little girl. All right, Pepe. Thank you. This is Pepe Bordo, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. How Pedro. Hi, Pepe. How are you, Mr. Mr. Bordo? Uh, Pepe is representing the law on the island. Oh, a cop, huh? As you call them, a cop. My friends are from America. How did you get here? There has been no boat for months. Oh, we just dropped in. <laughs> they parachuted from a plane. Oh. Pepe has the only means of outside communication on the island, a small wireless outfit. Gee, maybe you can get us off this island, wireless some passing ship or something. Yeah, you know, Morse code. What does that mean? Well, my transmitter only carries to the neighboring islands, a little over a hundred miles. But some ship may pick her up. I shall try. Oh, thanks a lot. Gee, that'll be peachy. Here you are, Pepe. Oh, thank you. And thank you to Doctor. My pleasure. Gentlemen, it had been a pleasure. Same. Goodbye. Thank you, too. And don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I see you through the door. <laughs> wow, it'll be great if we can get a ship to stop here, won't it? Sure will. The sooner the better. Gee, Nona, why don't you tell us there was a wireless outfit on this island? I... I just didn't think, I guess. Well, if the ship stops here, we can go right out to Guam. Gee, honey, what's the matter? Nothing. Come on, baby, don't feel that way. Come on, baby, smile.
getting awful sticky around here. What do you want? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> That's pretty cute, you know. <laughs> What are you doing? Help, Dookie, get me out of here! Help, Dookie! Dookie, get me out of here, will ya? You know something? I don't like the way that Dr. Zaber looked at you a couple of times tonight. And do you know something? I don't think Dr. Zaber liked the way you looked at me a couple of times tonight either. Well, it's just too bad. I don't know if I like the idea of living there or not. Why not? Well, it's too far from the village, and you. But I'm there every day. Yeah, but you're always busy. You can always take me home at night. Well, I guess that'll have to do until I can think up something better. I shall have my father invite all of you to dinner some night soon. Would you like that? I can hardly wait. <laughs> Anything else, Master? No. Go to bed. Good night, Master. Good night. Fine thing. He knows I'm afraid to be left alone. Well, I wouldn't think of letting you go home alone. I'll see you home. Well, thank you very much, but wouldn't Sammy like to come along? Oh, no. Sammy wouldn't like to come along. Sammy's tired. Sammy's tired. Sammy's tired. How does he know if I'm tired? Come to think of it, I am a little tired. That you do. It's about time you got home. Lie still where you go to sleep. And cut it out where you go to sleep. Hey, Duke, what's with the Angora patch? You get up here. Come on, you gotta go back to your cage. Come on, Alamona, let's go. Come on, baby, come on. What are you doing with Ramona? What am I doing with Ramona? Are you kidding? I'm upstairs sleeping in my own bed, and very peacefully, mind you. Next thing I know, this is staring me right in the kisser. The whole thing's very ambiguous. Take her back in her cage. What? Take her back in her cage. All righty. All right, Ramona. Now it's time to go Betty by. Get into your cage. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to lock me in again. All right, but we'll have none of that tonight.
Now what do you want? Oh, you want I should sit down and rock you to sleep, huh? Oh, okay. Come on, Ramona. Up we go. And over. rock a bye baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, cut that out now, Ramona. You gotta go to bed. The cradle will rock. Do I want you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Indeed I do. Do I need you? Goodbye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Boy, what a light. What a moon. Can reach right up and touch it. Well, good night. Sammy in bed? No. Still in the laboratory. In the laboratory? What's he doing in there? <laughs> Putting Ramona to bed. Baby sitting with a gym? This I gotta see. No. Now you've seen everything. Good night, Cuckoo. Chief Rock is honored to have great doctor visit his humble abode. And how goes uh, scientific work? Good, I hope. Huh? Oh, yes. <clears throat> fine, fine. Everything is progressing satisfactorily. That is good. Mm, this is great. Try this. Hey, I like that. Hey, Duke, get a load of that, will ya? Does he sleep with that thing on? <laughs> you eat. Look. I told you 40 times to get out of here and I ought to feed myself. You gotta eat to grow fat. Will you get out of Get out of here. I know how to eat my own food. Duke, will you make us stop already? Fight your way out of it, kid. She outweighs me. Here's the bowl. You get two cents back on it. Let's get this egg. Sammy! 
What are you laughing about? I was just thinking. I had to fall out of a plane to meet you. <laughs> Baby, when we get back to the States, we're going to have a big wedding with all the trimmings. But, darling, my father will probably wish me to be married here with the full tribal ceremony. Okay, okay, we'll get married in a car bond by a motorman, if you want. Just so it's you. This belonged to my great-great-grandmother. In your country, it is the custom for the man to give his sweetheart an engagement ring. Here... This is the custom. Where'd you learn that tune? That used to be my favorite tune in college. No kidding. That's right. Well, it's one of the tunes in our act. Really? Too soon. It was only part of the game you played. Your smile only added life to your masquerade. Too soon, I'll be more than willing to give my heart. Too soon, for a kiss that offers a world apart. And just like a fortune teller, take your hand but only misfortune beckons at your command you promise a future bright with the early dawn but when I awake tomorrow will you Am I waiting in vain? May I kiss you again? Please don't hurt me or ever desert me. Am I too late? Too To your health, my good doctor. To yours. Mighty Chief Rackers, I thank you for your hospitality. But it grows late, and I have much to do tomorrow. Good night. My pleasure, you come. Good night. Many kisses. She talk marriage. She give boy necklace very serious. Very interesting. Very interesting. Chula. Yes, master. Open the cage. All right, open it. Pick her up. Lay her 
down. Big like gorilla, no? No, I think not. I think not. Master, she is back to little monkey. What is wrong? Nothing is wrong, Chula. Nothing. Now I can change a man into a gorilla. A man to a gorilla. Not me, master. Not Shula. Please. No, Shula. Not you. Good morning, Shula. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry I'm late, Doctor. Perfect. You're right, my dear. I slept late myself this morning. I have a surprise for you. wasn't strong enough. It worked, but it wasn't strong enough to hold. What did you say, Doctor? It wasn't strong enough. I thought I... Nothing in my idea. Good morning, Ramona. Come and shake hands. <laughs> How are you today? Oh. I forgot to bring you something. When are we gonna get out of here, Duke? How should I know? Yeah, fat like you care. You're happy here. You got Nona. After all, where are you gonna find a Nona in the Bronx? You know you got something there, chum? Me? The two-legged blimps got me crazy. I nearly froze to death last night in those trees trying to get away from her. Imagine me trying to do a Tarzan. I ain't got the bill for it. <laughs> well, I'll go look up this guy, Pepe. See if he's contacted any ships. You wanna come along? And run into salami? <laughs> no thanks. All right. Oh, try to keep out of Ramona's cage, will you? Very funny, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. Keep out of Ramona's cage. Does he think I am an idiot or something? Hiya, baby. in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on my way to see Pepe. We gotta get back to the States. I'll go with you. All right. Oh, Nona. Yes? I need you in the lab. Very well. You'll never find Pepe's place by yourself. Go to my father. He'll get you a guide. All right. I'll see you later. Good morning. And how are you today, my little anthropoid? Anthropoid? Where'd I get that one? Oh, well. Do, 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 do. I'll go a little strep the cockeye. Strep the cockeye! Never mind that. Oh, 
When you get through with that, will you make me a malted? Master. I think that will be all for today, Nona. Now, why don't you take our guest along with you to the village to meet your friend, Duke? All right, Doctor. Come along, Sammy. Very good. First, we'll make sure he does not come to until we're finished. Then, put him into the cage and take off his clothes. Remember, Noni, you promised to protect me from Swami. You mustn't be afraid of her. She's only a baby. Yeah, baby elephant. Hey, look, funny thing grow on these trees out here, don't they? Why, it's my necklace. Yeah, that's right, the one Dookie had on. I wonder how it got here. He's awful careless with his jewelry. Don't tell him we found it. I want to tease him about losing it. Make him worry a little before I give it back. There's him right. That's it. <laughs> Take, Master. I don't know. Quiet. <laughs> oh, you are back, my little one. Remember, Noni, you promised. No, Saloma. Nunca pasca nunca. Just a little? Not a little. Oh. Did our father supply Duke with a guide to go to Pepe's? Duke, not come here. Sure. Not sure. He must have gone to find Pepe alone. That's bad. Dogar! Osmo! Oka sana un lucampada con lado un Pepe. Encostado con lado un tashla un Pepe. What do you call him? To look for Duke. Good. And hurry! Pronto, now. Let's go back to Dr. Zabor's. He may have turned back looking for this. All right. Come on. Me go too. No, Saloma. No, no, a thousand times no. No, no, a thousand times no. Nona will prefer you to me. Suppose he ain't here. Then what? Then he must be lost in the jungle and we better go find him before it's too late. Dookie! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Maybe he's hiding. Dookie! Hide his clothes in there. And put Ramona in there, too. Oh. <laughs> Dougie! Maybe he's in the laboratory. 
Come on. Doctor, the Duke come. <laughs> Where'd he come from? Another step in my experiment, my dear. Ramona is now a gorilla. Ramona? Did you Ramona? Yes. Boy, I'd hate to have the rock to sleep now. <laughs> Do you intend to advance her one more step? To the human level? No. I don't blame you, Doc. As the stupidest looking gorilla I ever saw. <laughs> Did Peppy have any good news for our friend you? I don't know. We can't find him. He must be lost in the jungle. Some of my people are searching for him. Sammy, I think we'd better go back to the village. Not me. I'm tired of chasing around. I'll wait here. I will be glad to go with you, my dear. Come. Well, well, so long, Ramona. And don't take any wooden bananas. <laughs> Chula, if you should return, bring him to the village. Yes, master. Let's go, dear. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say, Ramona? Wait, 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 what are you trying to do, Ramona? I don't understand you. What? Oh, a charade. Oh, good. Oh, oh, uh huh. Three words, three words. Uh, first word, first word. Uh, uh, pu pupil, pupil. Uh, 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 lash, eyelash. No, no, uh, brow, brow. Brow, uh, uh, eye, 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 eye. Uh, second word, second word. Ear, uh, no, no, sounds like, sounds like. Sounds like. A bang. No? Uh -huh. uh, hit, 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 hit. No, no, no. Uh, um, uh, um, bang, bang. Ram. S -s Sounds like ram. 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 Uh, Sam. Hey, 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 ham. Ma Ma'am. Lamb, lamb, lamb. Lam. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Ramon. I, I can't hear you with all that noise. You wait right here. I'll be right back. Look, will you clear out all that racket out there? Now you're confusing me, and I don't. Ramon. <laughs> Then who are you? <laughs> Duke's clothes. How'd they get there? And where'd he go? Without him? Oh, this is all very confusing. Look, 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 look. What are you, what are you trying to tell me? I, I don't understand a word. What, 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 what am I, dumb or something? Uh, don't, don't answer that. No, if only Duke were here, he'd figure it out. He's a smart one. Little Ramona, big Ramona, apes, gorillas, jungles, natives, mad doctors. What an interesting cranium. Make me nervous with all this stuff. I'm a young kid, I got a lot of talent. I don't, I don't want to go through all this stuff. Do I love you? Oh, my, do I? Baby, did I do? Do I? Did you? Do I, baby, did I do? Doogie! Doogie, what have they done to you? How did you get like that? Oh, Doogie, what, what? No, I don't understand, Doogie. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> key, key, we got to get the key. Where, where's the key? Oh. Oh, Doogie. Ah, take it easy. You don't know your own strength. Come on, we gotta get out of here.
cars there and stuff. Now let's go upstairs and hide until I can figure this thing out. <laughs> They have not found Duke. No, he not come to my play. We must find him, Father. Helmer, Helmer, get the head. Pull it for all the head. Oh, Father, something has happened to him. We will find him. Pull it, my Kiki. I'm sure he's safe, my dear. Father, we've got to find him. Hey, hey. Well, let me know. Gozalo, Colorado, do salvo. Ah, ahí que va. When you were human, you did all the thinking for the both of us. Find him to have to get out of. And with nothing but my poor little brain to help us. And don't look at me, will ya? We gotta get that screwy doctor to change it back again. What if he hasn't got the combination? Oy vey. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Dookie. Just think what a sensation will be when we get back home. I can see it all now. Sammy Petrello and Duke Mitchell. The singing gorilla. I will kill him. We may even play the palace. <laughs> don't cry, Nona. <laughs> They find Duke. <laughs> for real, they find him. <laughs> Everybody look for him. They find him <laughs> honest. Don't cry, my child. Master. It's about Duke. No, my dear. Ramona is, uh, loose. She's dangerous. If she comes here, you have my permission to kill her. Look, don't worry. We can get a nice apartment near the Bronx Zoo. And you can go over to the monkey house and visit any time you want. I'm a sugar. Then they'll kill me, too. Well, we gotta take a chance. Come on, get up. Wait a minute. I'll put some clothes on you. Maybe that'll fool them. I'm not order to do it, Dookie. Yeah, this will cover you up. Put it on. What are you doing? What are you clowning? Here, put it on. Will you put it on? Now look, Duke Mitchell. I'm running this game, you understand? And don't talk back. Yeah, now put it on, because we gotta get out that door.
Dookie. Dookie, this is you over here, ain't it, Dookie? This is you, ain't it, Duke? Oh, come on, Dookie, tell me it's you, will you? <laughs> Duke, Dookie, Dookie, please. Tell me it's you, will you, Duke? Oh, come on, sing. Dance, do something, will you? Do I love you? Oh, my, do I, baby? Bye, go out! This time, Master? No. no. Get my rifle. You must kill him. Come on, Dougie. Let's go, boy. Hurry up, will ya? Come on. Come on, don't let him get us, boy. into a gorilla, not Ramona. Duke, is it really you? Oh, Duke, my darling, what have they done to you? We'll find Doctor. He'll pay for this. You won't have to find me. A very touching scene, my dear. Step aside, my dear. Oh, no, no! Step aside. No, no, Duke, Duke, what are you nuts? Come on back, Dookie. Sammy. Sammy. Duke, Duke, I don't want to die, Duke. I'm too young, I have too much talent. I don't want to die. Come on, wake up, will you? Let's go, eat. Come on. Come on. Duke. Duke, you're not a gorilla anymore. Gorilla? What are you talking about? Where am I? Where are you? You're in our dressing room of the Jungle Hut in Passaic, New Jersey, and we're on next. Let's go, come on. Boy, what a dream. Hurry up, straighten up. Come on, will you? Come on, I'm shot, Duke. Where are you going? Ah. Hello, Dookie. Hi, baby. How'd it go? Sensational. What a crowd. We really killed them. Really? Good luck, honey. Chief Rakos. Hot work, huh, Pop? Oh, yeah? You're not kidding. Bye-bye, baby. Bye. Coco, come on. Watch it, Bob. Watch it. Happy. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. Killa! Hurry it up, you're on next. What kept you? Oh, Doogie, the most awful thing happened. 
And you'd better get some laughs this time, or you'll be collecting unemployment insurance. Dr. Zabor! What's the matter with you? Oh, Dookie, I just saw everybody in my dream. Chula, Peppy, and that's the guy that says, what an interesting cranium right over there. That's the fella. Ladies and gentlemen, those two fireballs of fun, Duke Mitchell and Sammy Petrillo. Come on, Duke. Mm. Come on, break it up. Come on. Gee, you're not so bad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Dougie, Dougie, look. There's a new bird. A new bird? Yeah, don't you know what a nuar bird is? No, what's a nuar bird? That's a bird that lays square eggs, and he goes... Playboys. I love you all, my do I? Indeed I do. Maybe I do. Indeed I do. Baby, 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 because I do. 